And the see will go die. If you is die, eh? My English will wake you up. My cousin sister. Give it to you this day. Money? Yes. Well, that I day, I don't take over. But what? I don't give one the bobo. One hand horsepower. You just hate yourself like this. This place is kind of a good room. Nathaniel is saying he's so much more sahizi. He's a male lady boss. You, Auntie. My name uh, is Jeku uh, from Nigeria. Nigeria? Uh, uh, it's not be Nigeria. <laughs> Nigeria. I'm talking to his mother. <laughs> hey! Oh, my God. Mind yourself. Because this abroad I am is abroad. Boo boo munchkin, bookie boo polet. Dangerous! I command you to fire him or I die! Never in your low life should you call me auntie. Has Jeku called you? Look not! There is heat everywhere! You heard? You have never touched nuts! Yes, my name is Mike Ezra, um, executive producer, uh, slash producer. Um, also artistic director of this great movie, Brother Jeku, and I played the lead character of Brother Jeku himself. Hello, I'm Julia Tateno Chieng. I'm co-producer for this movie, Brother Jeku. I also play Lady Boss. Hello, my name is Charles Wagbai, and I'm the director of the movie, Brother Jeku. Hi, my name is Melody, I'm from Canada, and I'm playing the role of Miss Taylor. Uh, my name is Nadine and I played the Mama Taylor. Catherine Kamau here, Kenyan actress. I play Lauren in the movie Brother Jeku. My name is Derek Aseto. I'm an actor, model, stuntman. I play a role in uh, Brother Jeku of the Giants. Hi, my name is Alawan Jirimberia and guess what? I play Claudia with an attitude on Brother Jeku. Hi guys, my name is Huda Monroe and I'm playing Huda in the movie Brother Jeku. My name is Sabina Stadler and I play Paulette Boo in Brother Jeku. Hi, my name is Chantel Petit. I play the character of Paulette's sister Sue in the movie Brother Jeku. Whoop, whoop. My name is Florence Nduta and um, I play uh, Mrs. Kamau in this amazing movie called Brother Jeku. They call me Emera Pius Peter. I'm the old man in Brother Jeku's movie. Hi, my name is Austin Wolier, and I'm the director of photography on this wonderful film called Brother Jeku. My name is Emeka Madhu, second unit cinematographer for the movie Brother Jeku. It started four years ago uh, when I came to Kenya for an event, you know, a two-day event, and I saw the country. And then my ignorance was quite educated, you know, and I said to myself, wow, this country is beautiful. How come a lot of people don't know about this country? How come uh, even when you go on Google, you know, you, you click on it, the first thing you just see is, you know, the Maasai people. No disrespect to the Maasai people uh, or, or the runners, you know, but the country has infrastructure, the country has beautiful people, you know, and I said, hey, this is what Africa is supposed to be like, you know, and this is one country that we should be able, as Africans, if you say we are one Africa, to showcase to the world. And I called up um, 
my director Charles uh, Wagbai, uh, a friend, and also um, Juliet Ocheng, uh, uh, who is also a friend, and you know from Kenya, former Miss Kenya 2004. Uh, and I said, hey, let's bring this vision to visual. You know, let's sell Kenya. Mike and I talked about a project together and we wanted to bring the two countries, Nigeria and Kenya, to make something that has not been done before. Normally we take one or two actresses to Nigeria and they shoot there, but we wanted to bring the team so that we can have the full experience of what Kenya has to offer. And also to show what my country has in, time, in terms of locations and, uh, for shooting movies. The Kenya-Nigeria collabo is actually good for Kenya, especially because it's going to showcase a few things about Kenya. Nigeria, actually thinking about Kenya, is one of the best things we've ever experienced and we're very happy about it. And we can't wait to work with you guys more and more. This collaboration is a very healthy collaboration because um, it shows that Africa is one. Africa is one big continent. And we, if we don't tell our own stories, nobody will tell it for us. It started late. We would have started this a long time ago, honestly. Let's face facts, we are Africans. We blend one way or the other. Even before this movie, I was on stage with a Kenyan comedian and it was so perfect. You know, the, there was a synergy. And here in this movie, if you watch the Kenyans and the Nigerians and the acting and everything, it's, ah man, I, I, I won't lie to you, I'm proud to be one of the people that is involved in this movie. Mind yourself. Because this abroad I am is abroad. Funny. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> it's so so funny. That's all I can say. It's very funny. And uh, Mike is amazing. It's a male lady boss. The movie Brother Jeku is very powerful. It's a comedy but it has a message. This is a guy coming from Nigeria. He doesn't know what happens in Kenya or Nairobi. He gets lost, he meets different people, but at the end, he still goes back to his country, a happy person. Um, Brother Jeku is a comedy film. It's um, situated around the guy, uh, Brother Jeku himself, played by Mike Ezeere, who came from uh, Nigeria, from the village, and finds himself in Kenya. Um, a lot of things happen, and he's missing in a country where he knows no one. I've watched Mike Ozerunye do movies before and I came and realized after reading this story I came and realized he's good at doing comedies and the storyline when I first read it I wasn't getting the pigeon but as I went on nice character nice man nice the script was interesting because some of it was like in pigeon so yeah it was a learning experience it's always good to see what other industries are doing out there and you know Nollywood is ahead of us so it was very humbling and it was very educative for me. My name uh, is Jeku uh, from Nigeria. Nigeria? Uh, uh, it's not in Nigeria. <laughs> Nigeria. I'm talking to you. It has been a lovely experience coming to shoot uh, this movie here in Kenya and um, I would say we had fun doing this, making this film here in this country. The atmosphere has been very favorable owing to the fact that the scenery here is quite lovely. Jeku is a really funny, you know, but very Nigerian guy, doesn't speak English very well. Whereas Mike is, uh, I guess you'd say, a lot more professional and easygoing. Jeku! There's a point where I left till I fell down because it's just too funny. Everything is just too funny. It's like, it, it's not so hard to act because the, even Mike, who I've acted in most of my scenes with, is the person who is feeding my character in the movie. He's just so funny, naturally, and it's just crazy. The character I play today, I'm the husband, and uh, it was very, in a way, I took it very personal. And uh, 
Yeah, he really he had to take some control because I took it very personal. You don't mess with my woman, you don't mess with my money. Those are two things I know, no, no, that's a no, no. You don't mess with my money and you don't mess with my woman. And here is a dude I just helped. And he got coming in my own house, man. Nigga want to mess with my woman in my own house while I'm there? No, 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 that's a no, no. I enjoyed myself. I can tell you that after uh, the birth of my daughter, this is my second most beautiful day in my life. So thank you so much. This was like a really quick cast, because um, I remember when I was called by Juliet, one of the producers, who was producing with uh, Mike Ezerunye. Uh, we met a few, in fact, at the same hotel here, Sankara. Then I had a week to sort that out. It wasn't hard because I'd done this before, I'm a professional casting director. But every casting comes with a lot of tricky. We even got confused when we came to audition, you know, because uh, we just were confused. There were times we audition and then we, we get to a particular role. You have like three people or four people or five people. You cannot, we got confused and, you know, Steven, I'm not going to call them chaff from, 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 from substance, you know, but all of them were substance and then you see substance into, uh, what I say, usable substance, you know, it was, was quite a, a task. But um, I just say, you know, it would be a pleasure doing this again. What my name? What dog? This dog? Masai, 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 yeah. Yeah. My name is Lady Boss Z. Z for Zena, Z for Zoo, where you belong. I also play Lady Boss, who's a real gangster. She has a group of people she likes to do her things her own way. And uh, the character is really amazing to me because I always play a docile person. The most exciting part is that I'm playing as me, the pretty girl, in this movie. And um, it's very exciting that I'm work actually working with uh, Mike Ezuronyi in this movie. And I'm acting as his major crush. I love Ken, okay? I just do. And I, I don't know. I just, I just love him. Playing Lauren was not a very major part, but it really taught me a lot. And of course, under the leadership of uh, Charles Uwagbar, I've been able to really understand and learn because I believe I'm teachable. Basically, the giant is this gentleman, um, or should I say, a dude, I think he lost it a little bit. And he, went, he was taken to the psych ward. And the psych ward is like more of a ruler, more of a. Um, he ends up owning the psych ward, being in control. And the lead cast, Jeku, comes in and. Um, he ends up like bullying Jeku, owning Jeku, and it's fun. I think that's one of the few <laughs> crazy scenes I've ever done before. Never done this before, but that was a good scene. I loved it. Uh, Paulette is a very classy girl. She's so blonde. She's <laughs> she's like in her own world. She's like she's aloof, and uh, she meets this guy, Niger guy in Kenya, and you know she, I think she's a bit desperate, so. This is her chance now to get it on lock. For let's just say the cheeky kind of spoiled brat who, she just, you know, your typical young kind of in her 20s girl who is all over the place in everybody's business. I worked with, on this set also with a couple of other comedians, um, Wufai, Funnybone, Neidu. These guys are very hilarious and they always bring their A game to the table. I don't give one the poo-poo! A lot of people don't understand how much work it takes to actually do a movie like this, but this was one of the best crews I've ever worked with. Uh, the cast and crew were a lot of fun to work with. They're very professional. Uh, they kept us on point all the time and uh, yeah, they were a great crew to work with and um, they helped me get into character. They helped me understand my lines and how to act and it was, it was a lot of fun. The crew has been very supportive, very encouraging. So I'm looking forward into working more together as Africa 
you know, taking each other to the next level. Actually, in my life, I think this is the best team I've ever worked with in my life. And um, especially, like, let's say, for example, the makeup artist. Like, we always fight over small things, but she makes me look very pretty. And also, again, like, everyone, the directors, they're very good. They made me comfortable. It was amazing and fun. I like um, getting to know different cultures. I learned a bit of, is it pigeon? Or, yeah, I learned a bit of it while sitting with the editor. The crew is very funny and I thought it would be different relating with Nigerians, but it's actually the same as relating with Kenyan crew. There's no barrier or awkwardness when it comes to interacting with the crew. I've had less headaches <laughs> because everyone is always helping. Someone is always taking care of something. So they are very professional and I'm very, very happy to have worked with them. The Kenyan crew and the Nigerian crew, for me, I just saw one crew, really. And it wasn't Kenyan or Nigerian, it was also an African crew. Because everybody, we were like brothers. Usually I would not lie, you know, um, this is the first set since I became Mike Israel, the actor, or celebrated actor, that, you know, I have been so comfortable being in the same hotel as crew members, you know, with them and in the same bus with them, and it has just been a breath of fresh air. <laughs> Mike is a very experienced actor, he's very professional, and he knows what he's doing. Mike is just amazing, and like I kept on telling him on set that he's, you know, he fell when he was born because he's just so funny. Mike, as a runner, salute. It's been an amazing experience working with you. You're such a great superstar, yet so humble. So I've learned that it's not about, it's the way you relate with people, because being humble can take you places, and I have learned so much from you. Thank you so much. You are amazing. Working with Mike is a very, it was the best move ever. I'm very excited about it. He's a very big actor in Nigeria, so it's on another level of um, production. I've been on set with Mike before, but I'm working with him the first time as a producer, and which is not, but the guy did very well, and at the end of the day, he was able to meet up to our demands and all. Um, the director is an awesome person, Charles Wagbay. It wasn't the first time we've worked together, we've always worked like a team. So I would say it was easy working with him. The director is just amazing. He just fits in like a glove with the team. And um, there was one thing I did pick up right from the first day I met them, is that they had this continuous flow about all of them. It's like you're one team. Me work with the director, Mr. Charles. He's a bit lame, laid back man doesn't talk much, likes to observe and a um, little bit of sly, likes to read people too much, you never know what he's thinking. And big up to the producer, Miss Boss Lady, Miss Chocolate Don't Crack, Miss Juliet Achieng, thank you so much for, you, for this opportunity. I hope I did not disappoint you, I did my best. Keep going on, cheers girl, all the best. <laughs> Oh, Mind yourself, because this abroad I am is abroad. Boo boo munchkin, bookie boo collect. Has been a very wonderful experience for me, and I would love to do this again. And I really hope um, I didn't disappoint you people, because I think Kenya and uh, Nigeria they deserve the best. And I hope you enjoy Brother Jeku the movie. Yes, we are taking over. It's something that by the time the movie is going to be done, everything with the hands of Jude being on the editing line, it's going to be a serious funny movie. It's going to be a creep cracker. You need to go see this movie because whether you've been heartbroken, whether you just gave birth, whether you, your husband just left you, you will relate to this movie. Watch the movie. You're going to laugh very hard. It's going to be amazing. It's worth it. Watch it. I know that this movie is going to inspire so many people who have that dream to achieve something great. You only have to say it, get up from your seat, make that phone call, follow through, follow through. Like Brother Jeku is following Huda on this movie. <laughs> so with that, I thank you and please go buy those tickets, watch the movie, you will not regret it.
Oh, no, no. 